Girls, we have been out in four days. Prime time. What's up, pretty girl gang? It's Princess Leia. I'm back with another video. Y'all gotta excuse my hair. Today's just kind of one of them days, y'all. I've been kind of busy all over the place, and then I ain't trying to look pretty today for nobody. So, as you guys can see, I am starting my weight loss journey. My goal is 10 pounds, but I'll be okay with like six to eight. I'm be okay. So I'm starting my journey starting today. Today is January 20. January. Today is July 27th, 28th. One of them days. It's Thursday. I think it's the 28th. Yeah. And um, I want to start with just documenting everything that I'm doing every day for the next 10 days. I'm going to do it for 10 days. So this morning I woke up. I ate a neutral grain bar. And that was pretty much it. That's all I ate this morning. I ain't drink no water or nothing yet. Um, so it's currently 6.30 and I just got some avocado toast from uh, Main Squeeze and I got me a Java, Java nut smoothie. So it has peanut butter, banana, um, espresso, rice milk, some other stuff. I don't know. But this is my dinner for now. I'm probably just going to just drink the rest of the smoothie for the rest of the night. But this is my dinner for now. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to make... They just told me I had a free acai, acai bowl. So tomorrow, I'll probably eat that for my breakfast. And yeah, so I have a free. So I'll come back tomorrow and eat that. And then um, I'm, I'm going to make my cabbage soup tomorrow too. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'll be making that tomorrow. Um, But yeah, so this is day one. All right, you guys, so today is day two of my weight loss journey. As you guys can see, I currently weigh 157. Um, so when I first started this journey, I was about 159, 160. My weight goal is actually 150, you guys. So I have seven pounds to lose, pretty much three pounds down already. I feel like I can accept that amount. Honestly, I haven't been doing nothing too crazy. Yesterday, I ate, uh, well, I vlogged it, but if you guys can see yesterday's video, I ate avocado toast. And I had a uh, a smoothie, and it had express. It was like an espresso smoothie, so it had espresso. It had um, rice milk, peanut butter, banana. Um, I forgot what else was in there, but it was like an espresso smoothie. And then for breakfast, all I had was a neutral grain bar. And then last night, I drank water. Now I didn't eat. I'm trying to do the intermittent fasting type of uh, style of losing weight. I didn't eat at all after I drank my smoothie and ate my um, avocado toast and that was about around 6 o'clock. So after 6 o'clock I didn't eat at all. I only drank water and I, I drank about a half a bottle of water which I do need to increase my water intake so I'm going to be focusing on that today. I do have a really 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 huge jug that I'm going to be using throughout this whole process so I'm going to do that with y'all in just a minute. But I did weigh myself already. So I'm going to do a light workout and then I'm going to do breakfast with you guys. So my breakfast today is probably going to be probably an egg and I'll do like lemon water or something like that. Something really light. Like I said, I'm not doing a lot of heavy eating. Small meals starting out in the morning, and then for lunch, I'll eat, I might eat like a piece of chicken and, and a smoothie. That's probably what I'll do for lunch, a, ch a piece of chicken and a smoothie. So um, I'll figure that out. I think I got some chicken breasts in the fridge. If not, I'll probably go somewhere somewhere and get like a chicken breast or something like that maybe if we go out for lunch today i'll just get like a chicken breast and then i'll get a smoothie on the side or like a nice little water or something on the side um but i just want to document this whole journey with y'all i'm so excited i feel like i've been doing good so far i did get hungry last night i did have an urge well I don't, i'm not gonna say i had an urge to eat but i did get hungry i usually don't even eat late at night anyway so that was kind of good that it was late and not early in the day because i would have been like oh damn but um yeah so i'm gonna also do my measurements on my stomach and my waist so you guys can see what that area is looking like and then yeah let's go ahead and get into day two y'all last week i did this and my measurements were my measurements on 7 12 was 33 30. so measure my 
so now Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty. Like, let me measure here. Oh, that's thirty. Yeah, thirty. This is pushing off. Okay, that makes more sense. So I'm currently at 32. 32. 32, 30. So I lost an inch off my waist so far. So yeah, that's a good start. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me, I let it die, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, Call the shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm ready, it's a pinch on Way that I've been living, I've been finishing on I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed on Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to chrome Rather see my heart turn to crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I feel up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me, right and they die Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Outside in it. AMG, right outside. PT, two turn, baby girl, you know me. Oh All the niggas found me. Why do they die? Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me.
Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza. Elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chubs to look around, find one to see my type. Tell my dog and he knows what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet this girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Got a red credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing though women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you one day. Baby, will someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. Safe on arrival, just a long jack for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title, a lot of people trying to take us viral. I was trying to have a nice night, no pay to brought a check for the meal. She said, Babe, I think it was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it, that's like, no, I can show you bigger things than that. It's gonna be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty women in the past, I done plenty sinning in the past. Don't need to know what you can ask. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access, cause you bad. You can go wherever with that ass. Show to the shop, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing though women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you one day. Baby, will someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. did a 15 minute I did a 15 minute routine now one thing that I can say is whenever you're dieting and working out the workouts are actually a lot easier and it makes sense because when you eat even if you're not on a full stomach while you're working out it's like when you eat when you have a full day of eating or when you do have full days of eating, like when you eat on a normal like regimen, your body has so much more to work off. So it's harder. Like I feel like the workouts for me has become a lot easier being that I'm eating less. I guess it's because I'm working off less calories and my body's not fighting so hard to work off what I ate the day before, whatever the case may be. So I feel like definitely eat less. Change your diet. That I, It makes sense now why they say that working out is a part of it but dieting is the majority of the process it makes so much sense now I actually can get through my workouts way better I can do full workouts instead of like stopping in the middle of my uh, uh, my reps and stuff like that 
I could actually full out do it. I don't lose breath as much. Um, and I still sweat. I sweat probably a little less, but I still feel my body working. But I think like when we sweat so much, it's your body working off so much because you've eaten so much or you do eat so much. So I'm telling y'all diet is so important. And I'm, now that I'm doing it, I'm finally understanding why they say that. It's becoming more enjoyable to me um, because I feel like I can feel it working, working off while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes you work out and it's just like, dang, I'm not going nowhere. You check the scale. You're like, dang, this ain't. But I actually can feel it working while I'm working. Like, it's crazy. So I'm about to make my, uh, about to make my breakfast. I'm going to do an egg and I'm trying to see. And I ate, um, I had a Nutri-Grain bar and then I had that avocado toast and I had that smoothie thing and I only drank half of that. I ate that for uh, for dinner, that was it, yesterday. And then I drank some water last night and then like, you know, I'm still good. Like I have energy, blah, blah, whatever. So I did my workout <coughs> and it's just like, I could get through all my workouts with no problem. I did a 15 minute workout nonstop. I'm just like, wow, but now it makes sense. Like you would think like not eating you're weak and all that, but no, you're not weak. Like, I think that's like a mental thing. Well, I mean, it does get the music, she wouldn't eat some, but... Honey, where you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Honey, where you say, anywhere you say. Big old water jug. Now this actually took six water bottles to fill. No, wait, was it six or eight? Six. This took six water bottles. So yeah, definitely got to drink at least one of these a day, I guess, or at least half of it. Um, so it's really cute because It takes you through the stages. Good morning, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., hydrate, 11 a.m., remember your goal. 1 p.m., keep chugging. 3 p.m., feeling awesome. 5 p.m., don't give up. 7 p.m., almost finished. And 9 p.m., you did it. So, it kind of gives you some motivation to finish it. My manager actually put me on this um, before I had went into my surgery. This is something I had to drink a lot of water. So this is something that um, she put me on to. Actually, it's from Amazon. So y'all go, I put the link. I'll find a link and put it in the description. Because I know y'all be asking, where did you get that from? Da -da -da. But on my eggs, all I put was salt and pepper. That's all you need. Don't put no cheese and seasoning salt and basil and all that. No, you don't need that. A little light spray of butter, which... It's organic. It's an olive oil spray. No butter, nothing like that. Something light. Y'all be putting globs of butter in y'all food. Mm -mm. No. Stop that. Sometimes you can eat like a piece of fruit or something with that too. Like I think I got a cantaloupe in the fridge that I might want to open soon. This is gonna go bad. 
But I think this straw is the wrong. Something ain't right about this. Oh, that lemon water be so good, bro. Make sure y'all add some organic lemons to y'all stuff, y'all. One, one does it. I already reached the 9 a.m. mark. So I just think every two hours you need to just drink. Every two hours. So I'm behind. I think it's like 11 a.m. right now. So I'm actually like two hours behind. But I'll be done with this by 11 p.m. tonight. Good morning, you guys. So y'all gotta excuse me. I'm just waking up. Well, I'm just getting out of bed and I look a hot mess. <laughs> it's cold in here. But anyways, you guys, so today is day three of my weight loss journey. Now, I know that I probably haven't lost much for these few three days because yesterday I kind of messed up a little, just a little bit because I ate okay I had salmon I had a salad a little piece of salmon maybe like a half a piece of salmon and then I had um, some rice and then after that I had like three shots and then also I ate after 11 p.m. so that was like all against the rule like I was not supposed to eat at all so I kind of messed up there I didn't do my workout yet this morning um, I have a few other things that I have to do for work so I'm probably gonna focus on that first but I do want to I did want to start my morning with some lemon water um, breakfast which is gonna be probably an egg again and then I'm gonna do like my um I wanted to do like a, a I don't know like a massage or something I got a massage yesterday by the way but I wanted to do like a stomach massage and kind of get my just kind of get some blood flowing through there I don't know just that's just my thoughts i'm just kind of taking myself back to the bbl days when i first was getting my massages and stuff it just was a good feeling but anyway i'm about to weigh myself and then we're about to go do breakfast and then yeah Ugh. 158 I can never remember which one I don't like, and I realize both. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I made myself some eggs. Um, I made three eggs, and these are like vegan sh bacon strips from Morningstar. And of course, y'all know I got my water right here. But yeah, this is. Come here. This is my breakfast, day three. I have made my cabbage soup. I know I didn't share the recipe with you guys. But it smells so good, and I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I did so y'all can make this at home. And you know, this can kind of help with y'all's hopefully, this can help with y'all's weight loss journey. But I'm gonna be eating this for the next seven days, and only this. If I have to make it again, I got more ingredients in there to make it. But so far, this is what it is. So I cut one head of cabbage, I cut, I boiled um, some potatoes and i simmered some um some turkey the turkey leg like this smoked turkey this is just to add more flavor and to kind of give you like a meat substance or uh, whatever the case may be let me turn it on like because it's dull so i basically i've been boiling this for hours i boiled it in some um chicken broth and i boiled it for about i would say maybe about four or five hours it's been boiling for a long time and i just boiled it until it fell off the bone so you can buy these at any any store or whatever they already come pre-packaged um and then i cut up maybe like two fourths of an onion one fourth of i cut up like one fourth of an onion i did like eight garlic cloves and um well eight garlic halves if you want to be technical and then i sauteed those with a little bit of the light butter that i showed y'all earlier the stuff that i sprayed in the um in the pan when I made my eggs and then I just put seasonings in it um now some people do this soup with like mushrooms and celery and I don't know but I'm a cabbage eater for real for real in real life and I could never imagine myself putting celery and carrots and mushrooms in my mush in my um cabbage no so I'm gonna eat it the way that I would normally eat it the goal is the whole purpose behind a cabbage soup is 
you know, it's a very, very, it's filling, but it's like, it's water. But spinach, I mean not spinach, but cabbage is nothing but water. So it's basically like it's filling for the moment, but then it's basically like water. So it's not fattening. It don't stick to you. It don't do none of that. Yeah, so basically just use the seasonings that you would use. I, I use salt, pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, basil, um, chili pepper, um, um, chili pepper, cayenne pepper. I did garlic powder, garlic salt. I put a little bit of, little bit of organic cane sugar in it because that kind of gives it like a like a sweet taste just a little bit um and i'm gonna just taste it because i haven't tasted it yet so i'm gonna see if there's anything that i'm missing i got some parsley here that i'm probably gonna add to it but there's anything i'm missing i'm gonna add it and then i'll let y'all know oh and two two cartons of the uh chicken broth you want to use this i use organic chicken broth so i use two cartons of this this is for the actual soup base so you definitely want to get you some of that this is what the soup looks like it may not look like much, but it's good. So I added some more salt to it. And for my drink, I'm just drinking some ice cold lemon water. And yeah. It smells so good. There's so much flavor in it. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. It's perfect, y'all. Mm. I love my water so good. I haven't eaten no sugar or nothing. I've been doing so good for three days. I'm so proud of myself. Good morning, Princess Gang. So today is day four of my weight loss journey. And as you guys can see, I'm currently at 157. Now, I did start at about around 160, 159. So, my goal is 150. So, I have seven more pounds to lose. Going, I'm about to go to the gym right now. Um, my stomach looks very, very good. It looked very, very flat when I looked in the mirror this morning. Um, last night, I did like a stomach massage. And I pretty much, I feel like I... I don't know. I feel like I did something. I don't know that. But I'm going to pretty much do those probably like twice a day. And see how effective that is for me as well. Because I know, you know, sometimes we get bloated a lot. Especially us women. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to refill my water bottle. Because I really need to redo it. Because the lemons are like old now. And I never finished the gallon yet. So I'm going to redo that. Do my gym routine. I, I found a new gym routine that I want to do. Like as far as my stomach. And I'm probably going to do that today. And then y'all know, today I'm going to be eating my cabbage soup. Not sure what I'm going to eat before the gym. I'll probably eat like a neutral grain bar or something like that. And that'll hold me over until it's time to eat. But yeah, so I'll check back in soon. Hold on now, because yesterday I was 155. Now, what happened? Oh, see, it does say 155. All right, let me try this again. What's up, you guys? So, today is day five of my weight loss journey. So, I just checked the scale, and it said 156.4. However, last night before i laid down i was 155.6 i believe and i didn't eat anything at all last night so i'm kind of confused as to why I like that it seemed like an extra pound packed on i don't know what happened maybe i need to shit or something probably probably because i ain't shit yet but it's not exactly what it is y'all i know my face looks crazy um i just got my lashes done and i gotta get used to them check my waist I haven't done that in a while. Something has actually been really flat. And, ooh. So the last time I checked, I think it was 7.31, oh yeah. I was 33 and 30.
So now I am 31.3, 31 and 3. Ooh, girl, I lost two inches off the waist. And 29. Okay. So I done lost one inch off of my stomach, I guess, and two inches off my waist. Hold up. I'm gonna start right here. Yeah. Okay. Stop playing. I'm about to go do my workout right now. I'm gonna go do my workout right now. I'm so excited. I'm motivated. Oh my God. I'm getting this body right. So this is what I look like from the side. It's just like this right here. I don't like this. But for the most part, my stomach is like flat. I kind of want to be a little bit more flatter, which I really want to be like this. But it's like this. I got a little bit more work to do. I got a couple more pounds to shed. I don't want to lose too much weight. I'm, I'm noticing like, but see my, my stomach, my waist is small. Like this part right here it is small. And then my hips, the way they pop out. It's a vibe. Stop playing. Anyways. <laughs> Let me get on the scale again, because I think the camera was an extra weight. Yeah, I'm 155, y'all. It's the camera. This camera adds extra weight. So I'm actually 155. I'm going to let y'all see it. I'm going to let it do it. I forgot this camera weighs a lot. So I'm holding the camera as I'm standing on the thing. And I, I, that, that was just dumb. So let me get myself back on this thing. And I'm going to let y'all see. 155.2. Stop playing with me. Hold on. Just in case y'all ain't see that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. Because I know. I just know you lying. I just know you lying. Hold on. Wait a minute. We finna do this again. Okay. One more time. One more time for the people in the back. Hold on. 155.2. Where you at? I told y'all. I knew something was wrong. I woke up. I said 156. I know I'm going crazy. Something going on. Something ain't right. I know I ain't crazy. But yeah, so. I lost five pounds. I'm going to say four and a half pounds. I lost four and a half pounds. Got to go do my work out. Yeah, stop playing. All right, guys. So today is day six. Ooh, I don't know. My weight loss journey. I'm still trying to get used to these lashes. I know y'all probably like, dang. But they actually look really good. Like, I like when they start to fall out. They just be so thick in the beginning. But they look better as they, like, fall out and get more thinner but yeah if you want to lose weight why don't you do a booty reduction why would i do that anyways i'm I about to weigh myself weight. here hold it a booty reduction Never mind, i got it, i got it i'm about to weigh myself you guys <laughs> or a forehead reduction <laughs> what that's not funny anyway. <laughs> okay here we go y'all <gasps> Oh my god, 153? Y'all saw that? Hold on, I gotta do it again. 153.6. Ooh, y'all, you girls, get in there. I told y'all what my goal was, right? What I said, 150? I got three more pounds to go. Three and a half, three and a half. That's crazy. Oh my god, I can't wait to get home and work out and just. I'm excited. <laughs> So I am actually about to go and get my, I feel so good y'all. I'm just so proud of myself. I love doing like, actually accomplishing things. And he gonna, he gonna say I look good anyway. You do. Every day, you're, you know, it's hard like this, like if you see somebody every day, like all day, every day, then you're not going to see the differences, you know? 
because you're watching the entire time. If you want to, if you want to ask somebody if they see a difference. Dang, I should have took before and after. Yeah, well, first of all, before and after is good, but you also got to ask somebody who ain't seen you for a month. Like, oh, dang, I do see you. Because know I mean? the last time they saw you, you look different. I see you every day. I see you naked. I see that kitty. You know oh saying? my God. Okay, I'm cutting, I'm cutting all that out. That's it. Yeah, nah, you keeping all that. Nah, I'm cutting it. I'll be seeing that, that kitty. That woo wow. Nah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, you know, I'll, every day. Mm -hmm. Except today because, you know. Oh, you but. just saying a little bit much. <laughs> so, I'm going to Main Squeeze because I have a free uh, acai bowl. So, I'm going to get that. That's going to be my. My breakfast and lunch for today. If y'all didn't know, Main Squeeze is a strip club. Main Squeeze is not a strip club. Yes, it, is. Got, it actually do sound like a script, they got, strip they club. They got name. juice. They got juice and titties. Yeah, they got juice and bitties. Yep. But yeah, I'm about to get that. Um, last night I had a uh, a smoothie from, uh, from Jamba Juice. Nuts. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna take the camera off of you guys. But yeah, I had a smoothie from Jamba Juice and it was so freaking good, you guys. Oh my God. And I didn't eat nothing else after that. I feel like now my diet is actually more so, my my body is used to eating less. She yeah. been, she been on a liquid diet, if you know what I mean. What? Why you gotta be so stupid? <laughs> oh my God. But um, yeah, so I'll show y'all what it looks like when I get it. So this is what the bowl looks like. So underneath is pretty much like a, almost like a smoothie. They mix like a bunch of um, like yogurt and like a bunch of fruits together. And they put this stuff on top. Yeah, can't wait to eat it. So today is day seven. Y'all, my camera might be a little blurry because it is super, super cold in my house. And I just stepped outside. So it's like the camera's kind of like frosting up or whatever. But I decided to come outside just for a little bit just because it's so cold in there. Like Today is day seven of my weight loss journey. As you guys can see, I've only lost about five pounds, which I'm not going to say only. Um, I have three days left, but my goal is to lose five more pounds. So... What that means is I definitely have to um, start really getting more strict on my diet because originally when I started this, I was eating a lot less. I feel like I was doing more so of like the cabbage diet. I did that for like two, two and a half days and then um, my workout. So I haven't been to the gym in a couple days. Um, so that has a lot to do with it as well. Um, I do plan on going to the gym today so um that'll help out but all this week i really need to go heavy in the gym because i'm leaving this weekend to go um to see my family so so these next few days uh today tomorrow and friday in the next three days i need to be in the gym like heavily like back to back to back so um that and i need to start picking back up on i feel like the last couple of days my eating has been I don't, I'm not going to say bad, but I have been eating a little more than what I wanted to in this journey. Um, dang, this stuff is like fogging up real bad, y'all. Hold on. I have been eating, um, so last night I had salmon. Um, I'm not eating any sugars at all. Um, everything that I've been drinking, I've only been drinking water. I haven't been drinking anything else. Oh my God, this camera, hold on, y'all. Yeah, I don't know. This camera's just being weird right now. But um, I haven't been eating anything else. Uh... I mean, I haven't been drinking anything else other than water. Um, I do need to drink more water. I haven't really even finished my jug yet, so I need to, like I said, I, everything I'm doing, I just need to pick it up. Like, I need to just really just pick it up. And um, I feel like some of the meals that I've been eating, like I'm, I'm only eating once a day. So the meal that I had yesterday, I had some broccoli and I had uh, maybe like an eight ounce piece of salmon. And then I had some lemon water. For breakfast, I had my acai bowl. Y'all saw what I had. Well, that was more so like breakfast, lunch. And then um, that was it. That's all I had yesterday. I didn't have no smoothies yesterday at all. The night before, I had a smoothie. And I forgot what I had for lunch that day. I think I had salmon that day too. I forgot. I can't remember. Oh, I think it was... Um, I, had, I had that barbecue chicken. I had a piece of barbecue chicken, corn, and um, potatoes. 
Um, but yeah, I'm only eating if I eat a ooh. Okay, the disrespect. If I do eat a meal, it's only once a day and it's not a heavy meal and it's not like something that's like unhealthy. For the most part, I do my best to eat healthy meals, like either a piece of salmon or a piece of chicken with a side or whatever the case may be. So yeah, and I'm always just drinking water. But like I said, I'm gonna pick up on just drinking more water for the for the next three days, more water. And, and I might continue this. I'm not gonna just stop after seven days. I'm gonna keep continuing because I got a whole nother extra week before my trip. So of course, I don't wanna just be eating and you know, gaining more weight so i might actually do this for two weeks instead of just seven days i might do it for um i meant 10 days i might do it for um for the full two weeks so i might go an additional four days after that but yeah so i'm halfway there then i'm halfway there and i feel good so far um like i said i definitely want to implement more workouts get back in the gym i've been missing out on that and um eating less probably just an egg in the morning like I was doing and I the cabbage soup is old so I probably have to find something else that might be able to just fill me up or whatever I don't know I figured out but yeah I might do the egg diet that's probably what I'll do my bathroom looks a mess i'm actually about to take me a nice hot bath but i just wanted to let you guys know that today i did wear my waist trainer all day so i'm about to take it off i just got back home and um i had a salad for dinner so i had um y'all saw i had eggs earlier and only thing else i was eating when well, i eat nothing else today but I was, I was just drinking water all day all day all day um lemon water and just water period and um yeah, so we went out to the mall. Um, so I did a lot of walking. I did my workout today, um, but I did it at home. And then, yeah, so I've been wearing my waist trainer all day. And I, I'm about to weigh myself. I figure since it's kind of like the end of the, towards the end of the night, I'm just about to weigh myself, take off this waist trainer, and kind of see my results because I did use this little cream. I'm not going to tell y'all about the cream yet because I don't know if it works all the way that good yet. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it do what he got to do and i'm gonna see if it works first and then i'm gonna put y'all on i don't want to put y'all on to nothing and waste y'all time and y'all money on something that i don't even know works so you feel me you know girl trying to keep it real with y'all but anyway so i'm gonna take this off so you guys can see as you can see this waist trainer actually never fit me like this i'm gonna close this though this waist trainer never fit me like this it has always been bulky and that's how I know my stomach is really, really going down. I'm going to measure myself too. But my waist has never looked, my stomach has never looked like this. You can't even tell I got on my waist trainer. People were sending me comments saying, girl, your waist is snatched. And don't get me wrong, my waist is snatched now. But of course, y'all know this is giving. It's giving a little bit more, a little bit more tightness. It's probably not the smartest thing to wear yourself at night because you had you just been eating all day. Or whatever the case may be and drinking so i don't feel like my weight weighing myself at night is gonna be as effective but yeah i got on my granny panties because y'all know it is that time of the month so yeah might be tmi but if you know you know if you know you know 
Okay, so I'm about to take it off. waist trainer since oh look at that face oh i had this waist trainer since 2015 it's the best waist trainer i've ever had and actually one of my friends gave me that waist trainer but oh my god y'all i'm gonna put my outfit back on and see y'all can tell me if my stomach still looks the same with it without it without it because period Cause what? Cause what? Cause what? Let me stop. <laughs> Y'all know I'm stupid, but oh my gosh. It looks so freaking good. So I might have put this, what time was it when I put this white shirt on? It had to be about, I want to say 12 o'clock. When did I do my workout? I'd say about one o'clock. Yeah, I put it on about one o'clock. And it is now, it's about it's about nine o'clock so i had it on for eight hours so eight hours a day these are my results these are my results looks really good looks extremely good actually wow wow i'm actually really like shocked because y'all know i talked about this right here Remember I was telling you about this right here? How I don't like that. And it's actually going down. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't even pinch it. I really want to get these abs activated. I can feel them under there too. That's how I know that my stomach is getting flatter because I can actually feel, I can like almost feel the abs. Like, you know, the fat that's, I think it's called the cereal fat or something like that. That's the fat that's like the layer that's over that muscle. That's that's the fat. Yeah, that's the fat that they, when they liposuction, they go into that fat. But yeah, oh my God, I can't stop looking at it. But I can feel it. Like, it's just a little bit of skin right there that's, that's kind of like in the way. But for the most part, you guys, this is what it's giving. I'm actually about to do my, um, my measurements. This is gonna be a long video. Oh my God, I'm gonna have so much to edit. Okay, so we're gonna start from Dang, I'm doing it wrong. And I just ate too, so really if I didn't eat anything today, it would be even flatter than this. Okay. Can't get it the way I, I feel like my butt is just so big that it's like in the way. Okay, so we're at like 29 and a half. Oh, wait a minute, what was our last time? 29 and a half, and I'm gonna wait up here too. 29 and a half, 30, 29 and a half. Does that make sense? Should I, I'm supposed to do it like right here, right? I never know the right places to do it. This is 31. 31 is right here. I know one of the times I checked, I was 32. So, and then I think that it's kind of measuring. Yeah, 31, 31, 29 and a half. So 29 and a half, 31. Yep, 31. I don't want to go like this because this is my butt right here. So it's technically not like, it's measuring my butt, which would be 39, that's my waist. That's actually like my hip line. So yeah, so 29 and a half, 31. Ooh. That girl is snatched. That girl is snatched. I'm so happy. All right, you guys, so 
and day eight you guys it is day eight you guys and i'm currently down to 153.2 Right, you guys so this camera probably about to fog up because that's just what it does whenever i hit the heat but today is day eight of my weight loss journey you guys so i'm currently at 153.6 i believe or 153.8 whatever it is y'all saw it on the scale um i'm super duper duper excited actually it's crazy because it's like five o'clock right now and i haven't even eaten yet today today was pretty much a really busy day for me because i had to reorder all of my clothes for my trip that's coming up next weekend so i ordered a bunch of stuff and they came in and they were too big like i didn't realize when i ordered it at the time you know with my weight loss journey and everything that it, like how bad that was going to affect it i wasn't thinking like oh yeah i'm gonna drop a size down you know and i ordered a large and all the sizes so i tried them on today all too big so i can't wear none of that stuff i had to reorder everything so that took up a lot of my morning then i had to do my um my girls school shopping so i ordered their school clothes i still got to do their shoes but i ordered like all their clothes or whatever so just to get them ready for school next week was it next week no they got school in two weeks actually so yeah so i've been super duper busy i didn't even get a chance to eat i had made me some green tea that i didn't even get a chance to drink yet so i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna put some honey and i'm gonna drink it probably add some lemon to it or whatever but honestly y'all my my diet has been so easy i feel like like me being hungry hasn't even bothered me at all um, i didn't wear my waist trainer today i was supposed to wear it all day today again like i did yesterday but i'll probably do it probably tomorrow because i'm going we're going out of town to see my family so i'm probably gonna wear it uh, I don't know if I want to be that uncomfortable during that trip, though. During that drive. I don't know. I might end up just putting it on tonight sometime and wearing it for a few hours. But um, I've been I've been trying to do a look like a like some type of regimen. I don't know. I've just been keeping up with everything that I've been eating throughout the day. Um, I'm about to go. We're about to go to Hooters so I can get their um their buffalo salad. It is so freaking good. But that's probably all I'll eat today. Uh, with some water i drink a bunch of water and just eat my salad and then that's just that's just been my diet y'all i ain't really been eating much just you know just doing what i gotta do getting this weight shedding this weight off so i'm excited i don't lost seven pounds so far it's day eight i got three more days left so the rest of these days i'm actually going to be spending out of town so hopefully i can stick to it faithfully which i believe i can i'm gonna do my best my family they like to drink a lot so i know i'm probably gonna be drinking which means i will have to eat um so yeah so next week when i come back that's gonna be a tough week for me because i gotta pretty much that's gonna be the week where i really 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 be working out working out but i'm not gonna be doing the journey um i wanted to do this journey before next week and finish this out so that way i can finish it and i i can just go ahead and put this out and edit it for y'all because it's gonna be a long video so um because when i come back next week i won't be able to continue on with my 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 journey if that makes any sense i don't know but i'm gonna still do it but i just won't be able to vlog it for y'all so i feel like this has been so easy like it, really what it is it's just getting through that first day after you get through that first day maybe the first two days everything else after that is gonna be so easy it's like the days are just gonna go by i feel like just yesterday was day two and now i'm already on day eight it's like oh my god i got two days left like well day seven i got three days left so it's like oh my god i can't believe it and i feel so good my stomach looks great i'm not like weak you know what i'm saying like sometimes when you don't eat you be weak i'm not weak or nothing like that so and i and one thing that really like shocked me and really helped me actually realize that yeah girl you are losing weight when i tried on them clothes today and i realized they was too big i was like oh shit i'm really losing weight oh my god <laughs> i was just so happy so it feels good like it feels really good but anyways um i'm about to end off this segment and i'll see y'all tomorrow all right you guys good morning today is day eight i look bald headed but i got my ponytail in but yes today's day eight of my weight loss journey let's see 4.4 so it seems like i'm kind of like stagnant like i'm kind of like struggling around in that area i haven't really lost much since then to be honest with y'all i really like where i'm at right now like because it's really like my stomach and my stomach is so flat y'all good y'all see my stomach 
It is flat. So, come on, focus. So, I'm actually about to go on a road trip. I'm about to go see my family. I'm probably going to wear my waist trainer the whole time. Just so that, you know. But then again, I'm like, I don't know if I want to ride that whole, that whole way with a waist trainer on. But I might wear it while I'm there. So, I'm going to bring it just in case. But for the most part, I do want to wear it at least while I'm there a little, like some sometime while I'm there. So yeah, so. What's up, you guys? So, oh my God, I'm back. I am back. So I know I look a mess, um, but I know I had to finish off this video and I'm actually, I wanted to try my new camera because I got a new phone for my birthday. I got the 13, so I want to try the camera out. So the quality looks different, that's why. But um, so so today is August 19th. Today is August 19th. And um, this basically is my just the conclusion to this whole video. I know you guys saw the whole vlog, and you know, you probably have questions, or you probably are like, wow, she really did a good job. I don't know what you guys are saying, but I just wanted to kind of I guess make a summary of everything and give y'all my final way because I know that you you know you guys are probably wondering at this point because the video was like so like you know in the past but um I don't want to hold this right now <laughs> but yes so I my eating has I mean I, I eat regular meals now I'm not so much on a strict diet um I I, I got kind of sick when I got back home from DR and it wasn't from DR it was just I got like sick from like drinking and stuff like that so i don't know i kind of had like you know cold symptoms or whatever but it wasn't like covid or nothing like that but um yeah so my appetite kind of got lost in the midst of all of that but right now i'm about to weigh myself just so you guys can see but i know i know just from weighing myself since i've been back um i've been around like 152 153 which is good and I feel like my stomach still looks good. Everything is still intact. I feel like, I, you know, even going back to my regular diet, I think I eat like once a day now. I eat regular meals, but I'm only eating like once a day now. My body has just been so used to like eating less food. So that's kind of like where I'm at with, you know, just my eating. Um, but I'm about to weigh myself, you guys, and I'm about to let you guys see. I'm going to take my clothes off because sometimes these clothes be making more weight. And I'm going to use my phone because, you know, it's not as heavy as the camera. So, let's see. One fifty three point two. So I'm gonna let y'all see my stomach. So I mean, one fifty three point two. I feel like, you know, of course y'all know. Let me move this out of the way. Of course y'all know my goal was one fifty. Um, I feel like I can still drop that weight. Um, and I have seen days where I'm like one fifty two. Um. But, you know, I have been out of the country. We ate, well, I ain't going to say we ate a lot on that trip, but, you know, we ate more. I ate more throughout the day. Like, I ate three times a day because we had a personal chef, and they cooked for us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, I didn't miss no meals throughout the day, whereas now I'm eating only once a day, which is what I was doing before I went to DR. So, I think my DR trip kind of contributed to that, which I could have been less weight. But I looked so good in DR, y'all. Oh, my God. Everything looks so good. My skin. I barely wore makeup when I was out there. Like, everything was just so, like, glowy. And, like, if y'all go on my page and y'all see um, the video with me in the tropical-looking bathing suit, there was, I didn't wear no makeup on that. Um, and, of course, y'all know my body looked good. There's no edit on that at all. And then the pictures when I was in the water, no makeup, all that, no edit. Um, that's just me. Like, and I'm just like, oh my God, like, I'm just so, ugh, I'm just so good. But anyway, so this is my stomach from the front, from the side, as you guys can see, you know, yeah. So I look, I feel good. That's all I can say. Like, I feel like this is a healthy weight for me. Um, whatever weight I had, even, even when I saw Chaz and she was like, you know, cause I hadn't seen Chaz in a while. So she was like, yeah, I can, you, she was like, yeah, you shed some weight, girl. So I could tell like, it's all in your face. It's in my dish. She's like, I don't think this is still there. I don't think it's going nowhere, but 
that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to focus more so on, you know, just this area in here, kind of like my arms too. And then like, but I definitely got what I was looking for for my trip. That trip, I felt so good. I looked good. Like just the whole natural like vibe I had going on. I just love that so much. But yeah, you guys, so thank y'all for watching and sticking with me through this whole journey. This has been amazing. Like I said, I'm going to keep going. I'll keep updating you guys throughout, you know, time or whatever case may be because this is a part of me now. It's just a part of my lifestyle now. Um, you know, I haven't been to the gym since I've been back, but that's something that I'll get back into as I, you know, I just got back home. So I'll be getting back into that probably next week. Um, but I just feel so amazing and I'm proud of myself. I'm really, really proud of myself. And I feel like if I can do this, you girls can do it. You guys can do it. Um, it's really a mind thing. Once you mentally put yourself there and, you know, make yourself understand, like, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. And you get through that first day y'all. that first day. It's only up from there. Y'all just don't give up, you know, try to create a, a, a realistic diet for yourself create a realistic workout routine don't try to work yourself too hard because that's when it becomes you know stressful and we don't want this process to be stressful it's supposed to be a fun process it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience and something that we can proudly say that we accomplished you know and there's always going to be challenges there's always going to be temptations of wanting to eat things and stuff like that but you know just always remember what you're doing this for and like I said, my, my whole goal was I wanted, you know, it was my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I just had a birthday and I wanted to look good for my birthday and for my trip. But then I started realizing I'm actually feeling good from this. I want to keep this going. So whatever your reason is, just make sure it's something that means something to you. And you're not just doing it to, you know, please other people or because somebody else looks like this. You want to look like that. I mean, it's good to have inspirations and things like that. But always remember that, you know, your body is your body and it's important to always be true and genuine to who you are. Um, and, you know, whether you're you're big or small, there's always, you know, something that, you know, we look up to or something that we want to look like. You know, if you're small, you might want to gain weight. You know, I've been there. Trust me, I, I had a whole weight gain journey on my channel. That's basically like how I became, you know, who I am on my channel is because I, I was I was such a big, you know, voice in the weight gain community like it was so many girls at the time trying to gain weight and I was doing everything I could to gain weight and now I'm in a situation I'm on the opposite side now I'm trying to lose weight you know what I'm saying so it's like I understand I understand both both ends of the spectrum so you know I feel like you know I can help you guys in both aspects so if you guys have any questions about any type of weight gain don't think that my channel is just about losing weight because like I said my channel is based off of gaining weight i was that girl i was that tiny little bitty tiny thing no weight on me i ate so much i still didn't gain weight you know and now i'm that girl that's like damn like i need to pull away from the table like i ate too much now it's too much you know so i get the struggle i get the frustration um and like i said i appreciate y'all for sticking through it with me um there was a little confusion um i, I hope i could fix it i don't know if i fixed it but there was a little confusion with the days because day nine and day 10, I didn't spend um, here and I didn't vlog those days. I was in um, Louisiana with my family, but there was some confusion between day seven and day eight. I don't know if I skipped a day on accident. Um, I know I did day one, day two, day three, day four. I got to go back and just see how that all plays out. But between day seven and day eight, there was a little confusion there. I think it was like day seven and day eight kind of ran into each other and I might have put day I might have said day eight when it was really day seven I don't know it was confusing but just know that the last two days of my weight loss journey I was not vlogging it so regardless of how you guys want to look at it um I did vlog every day up until the last two days so but anyways you guys I love you so much and I wish you all the best of luck in your journeys and I'm you know you guys can do it trust me put your mind to it stick to it and girl you can do it girl Get that body, get that body on me. But I love you guys. I'll see you on my next video. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. If you wanna bad and don't get a bag, then you cannot sit with us.